Now at 11, big rush hour headaches this morning. Commuters forced to board buses after several trains come to a sudden halt. Good morning. I'm Suzanne Lemonio. Aaron and Marissa are off today. CBS 2's Roseanne Teas is live near the Red Line in Lincoln Park, where the trains first stopped after a man's body was found on the tracks. Roseanne. That's right, Suzanne. An early morning suicide shut down three CTA lines. Portions of the red, purple, and brown lines were off limits this morning between Fullerton and North and Clybourne. After that discovery at the peak of the morning rush hour, police and fire officials responded to a call around 6.30 this morning. A man's body on the tracks at the red line at Fullerton. We now know it was a suicide, police say, a man in his 40s. Detectives spent more than two and a half hours investigating as hundreds of commuters scrambled to find transportation. As some lined up for shuttle buses, a good Samaritan appeared offering free rides. His car filled in seconds, but others were left to choose between being really late or paying surge pricing for a ride share. I just heard about all of the problems here and I thought I you know, saw the crowds and I just wanted to come over and try to help people get down downtown area. I'm going to wait for the bus. Um, I told my boss I was late and like the Ubers are like $50 and I'm just like I don't want to go to work that bad. <laughs> Now, all the CTA lines were back in operation, running uh, just a little bit after 930, but the damage was done. The buses this morning were jam-packed, the lines for the buses long, and all those ride shares out on the road added to the gridlock of the morning rush hour, creating quite the nightmare scenario this morning. Live at the Fullerton Red Line, Roseanne Teus, CBS2 News. Back to you, Suzanne. Thanks, Roseanne.